Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the magma level here and fuck your hair normal mode. Um, this can be one of the toughest levels in the speedrun front to back. Um, there's a lot of precise jumps, um, a lot of tough platforming, um, trolly enemies at the end there too. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through it the way that I do it. Um, kind of go through some of my visual cues as well that I have. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this will help. So right when you start off, you get these, there's like four screens of this um, kind of stuff here. So I think it's important to know too, like how many times you need, because you need to switch between two characters. So you need to switch between Bucky and uh, Deadeye here. So you want to use Bucky on the first screen and then Deadeye for the rest. Um, so it's, I think it's important to know. So you start here, so you want to, it's four to switch to Bucky right at the beginning. So you want to do that right away. Um, and then you need to use Bucky's super jump to get up here. Just like that. What we want to do is like, so switch right away, one, two, three, four, jump and hold B right away. And then you just got to kind of know like when you need to let go in order to get up there right away on the first cycle here. I mean, you can just watch the bottom too and just see, you, you get a feel for it after a little bit. So again, one, two, three, four. See, that was too late. Alright, so that's pretty good. Because if you don't make that first cycle, I mean, you could do something like this, where you just wait over here. Do that. It's just fine, too. If you're having trouble making that first cycle there. But it's really not that hard. The important thing is just switching right away, holding B right away when you make this jump. One, two, three, four. That's why it's important to switch right away. And again, knowing like how many you need to go to switch to the right character is definitely important. Uh, I found that once I figured that out for myself, like it made things a lot easier. All right, this next screen, this is probably the hardest screen of the four. Um, so you want to, what you want to do is switch. It's two to switch to Dead Eye, so do two, and then we'll go to the next screen. So this is what it should look like, not like that. <laughs> I'll see if I can. There we go. So that's what it should look like. Now this jump is very hard, because if you like, if you just go right away, like if you just hold right and just try to jump like right when you think you're supposed to, like you're just going to die every time. Wait a little bit longer, you're just going to die on the spikes down there. Um, so I use a kind of visual cue to jump, and I'm still not 100% on it, but I'm fairly consistent at it. I think it helps. So basically... You want to wait till just about this moment, so right when, um, actually let me get my little pointer up here. Right when the, um, this set of spikes goes right above your head, then you start walking. And then you're going to jump uh, right before you hit the spikes here. But you don't want to do a full jump because... Because you're going to hit that spike right there. So it's, you got to kind of get a feel for that jump too. And if you wait, if you jump too late, like you die on the spike down below. So, <laughs> it's, it's very tough. Um, so again, just wait, and then once that spike goes above you, just and then you just kind of learn where to jump and how long to jump for, if that makes sense. Not that I'm like looking at it. <laughs> I can't seem to do it. <laughs> yeah, this this takes a while to get down. And then the basically what you're doing after that is you're charging up. You're going to land on... Because uh, his power, when you charge it up, you get to stick to walls and you can jump up walls. So you're going to stick to this wall here, this part that pops out. And then you need to jump over, but you don't want to do a full jump. And you do It's like a medium jump. If you do too short of a jump, you're going to land into this spike here. If you do a full jump, you're going to hit the spike up top. Um... So, it's like a middle, middle strength jump, I guess. So, see, like, that was too short. And this is just to make it on the first cycle, too. That was pretty good. I'll show you what happens if you do a full jump up there. I guess you make it. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Let's try that again. As I thought. 
Oh, okay. I guess you can do a full jump then. I guess you just gotta jump early enough. Huh, that's good to know. <laughs> that's gonna make this part a lot less stressful. Oh yeah, okay, you can do a full jump off the wall. Cool. Well, I just learned something myself. Yeah, if you jump too late, then you're gonna get stuck there. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Um, I guess to do this in another cycle, if you don't feel comfortable, just come over here, wait. I think you can come up here like this. I don't know if that makes it any easier, though. That's probably a lot harder, honestly. I would just learn it the other way. Just this way. Okay, so you can do a full jump. Actually, yeah, that makes it a lot easier, because then you don't have to wait once you get on this wall. As long as you get up there right away. So, same thing with, like, the last screen. You want to start holding B as soon as you make the jump so you can get up there in time. See, that took too long. I charged too long. So, again, you can watch my controller inputs at the bottom, and then you can see exactly where on the power bar that I'm releasing here. So... Um, the, these first two screens require a lot of practice. This one in particular, this one took a long time to get even somewhat consistent at, so I'll definitely recommend practicing this screen a lot if you have access to save states. Uh, the next screen is important to remember, so this is the third screen. You want to just keep holding left, because this happens. So sometimes, like, if you're not paying attention, you're like, oh crap, that's right, and then you forget. If that happens, if you're, if you're just slightly late here, like if you just walk through and you're like, crap, I don't remember what screen it is, just wait here. And then go over. So if you can remember to just hold left there, that's great. Now the visual cue I use here to where I know where to stand is right to the left of this little notch thing, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to end up standing like right here, and that's going to set me up perfectly. Um, for the next jump. Let's see. Yeah, you can see that. So that's what you want to do. You actually want to land on top of here, so then you can just do a full jump over. Just like that. Oh, I missed the jump though. I missed the jump again. It's not super important to make this jump. It's just faster. If you miss that jump though, you can just go up. Even when this is closed, you can go up. So it's not, again, it's not a huge deal if you miss that jump. This screen's pretty easy, just the important thing is remembering to hold left through here. Again, if you're like, a little bit late, just wait. Same visual cue afterwards. There's a little more time to get yourself set up there. So that one's pretty easy. I don't think we need to explain that one anymore. This next screen is easy too. Just hold right, and then you're just gonna jump up the two walls. Just like that. You barely have to charge your power there. That's the easiest one of them all. Uh, ooh. That's fun. <laughs> Don't ever drive error, I guess. Alright, but yeah, that, I don't need to explain that one anymore. I think that's pretty... Pretty easy. Just run over, jump up these two walls. Even when it's closed, you can jump up the wall just fine. Alright, so the next screen... I think if you hold... I, I don't know if this changes or not. I think these are on global timers. Because sometimes I feel like you can make this if you just hold left, hold right, and sometimes I feel like you can't. Let's just see. Yeah, okay, it's, it's totally on a global timer. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, you get health. There's a few health drops in this section, so you can just run through the laser if you want. It's not a big deal. You're not gonna- you're never in any risk of losing too much health here. So you can just, you know, just do something like that. It's fine. If you really want to wait, you know, you can just stand here. And just go through like that. Uh, this next part, you want to kill this guy on top of here. Again, we're sticking with Deadeye for pretty much this whole screen. This part, you just have to time out. You want to do your jump right when this laser is disappearing. Because again, as you probably know already, if you take damage in the air, it stops your momentum and you're just going to die on the spikes every time. So just try to time it out. You know, if you have to, if you have to wait a little bit there... You 
Yeah, that's like the fast way to do it, I guess. If you have to wait here to get the timing down, you know, that's fine too. Alright, next part. This is the whole gimmick of this room is these like arrow gravity things. You can tell too because it shows you which way the direction is facing. Clearly that one's going up, you'll see ones that are going down too. It's my favorite part, the I hate you TV. <laughs> Um, Alright, but this next section, so kill this guy, kill this guy, again, just be careful here, not to like jump too high. There's no, there's a, I don't even think there's a need to jump here, you can just walk right off of this platform. You can just literally just walk off there, that's probably the best way to do it. Because if you jump here, you, you risk hitting the spikes up top there. Just walk off, that's fine. Again, yeah, more lasers, so you can either uh, set that save state up perfectly. Yeah, you can just either walk through them or, or just wait them out. That's fine. Again, damage doesn't really matter here. Uh, this next part. So here you want to make sure you don't jump too high. If you jump too high here, you can see you're going to die. So that's what you want to do. And you can't just walk off here too or else you don't get high enough. So it's just like a tap jump. Should be good enough. And then here you want to just time your jump like right there so you can grab that health. There is another health coming up here at the end of this section too. So if you're, if you're pretty good on health you don't really have to worry too much about grabbing that health. So here this first part just tap jump. Here. See, like, even if you tap jump there, it's a little longer, but you don't really risk of dying, but you're gonna miss the health. So I try to jump, like, right above, like... Like, right above, like, this thing. Like, I try to, like, enter right here. Oops. <laughs> Be careful of the laser, because if you... Learn the laser timing, too. See, that was too low. You have to be holding right here at all times, too. I just learned that, like, just now, because if you don't hold right... I guess it's a way to compensate, like if you, if I jump too high here, I'm like crap, I could just do that. Oh, okay, that's cool too. So you can actually adjust it if you, if you make a mistake. If I like jump too high here, oh, I'm probably screwed there. But you can, oh, that's pretty cool. I did not know that. Again, okay, you want to enter like right there to get the health. That was actually pretty good. So, again, just, it's not that difficult. This part, you know, just try to be careful, I guess. This jump is really difficult. This is one of those, like, super long jumps, because if you, it's so easy to short this jump. Like, all these attempts, like, look pretty good. <laughs> so you gotta jump really late here. Make sure you get through there. And then just be careful of this laser. Because a lot of times, like, that will happen if you're just trying to go too fast. Like, this is, the, well, this is one instance where you just don't want to be going too fast. Like, just, just take your time through here. Uh, and then I switch to Bucky here. You gotta do a super jump to get up here. And then just watch these lasers, because you want to have full health going into the next screen. So just watch these lasers. Took a hit there. Just trying to not take a hit, I guess. Super jump, kill this guy. Alright. Oops. Not following my own advice. There we go. And then you're gonna come up here. <coughs> Alright, so this will take us to the next screen here. Now, this next screen, um, there's a couple of ways to do it. The fastest way to do it is to just take damage through all of these enemies here. Um, hang on one second. Um, <coughs> otherwise you have to do his super jump to get over them. You need to jump over at least one of them though, if you have full health. If you have less than full health, you'll need to probably jump over more. Um, it might be worth it if you're like really low on health, is just like jump in this pit really quick. <laughs> Unless you're like gonna take a game over, then you probably don't want to do that. Uh, 
Um, just to give yourself full health here. But anyway, so you go through, there's an enemy drops here. You can see how much damage they do too, so you only want to take one hit, so just don't start holding right. Because see what happens if you try to tank all your damage. Now I don't have enough for the last one, which is going to come out right here. Alright, so what I usually do is, if I have full health anyways, is I'll take this first hit. I'll jump over this guy, so I use this um, part of the background as my visual cue to just land on and then just start holding my super jump. You need to charge a full super jump with the power that you have now. At least this much power. Do something like that pop right over. This is another one of those jumps too, that it's so easy to short, so just make sure that you're mindful of that jump. Okay, then take this damage, take this damage, just keep going, keep going, take that damage, and then you're good. Okay, now this next screen is probably the hardest screen in the entire stage to get consistent at. So again, we'll, we'll um, switch to, to get back to Deadeye, we're going to use Deadeye on this screen. Um, so I'll just kind of show you how I do it really quick. So, so run down, jump off of here, walk off of here, okay I didn't get it. Two jumps, fall down, ah, see that jump is really hard. I kind of want to just do it right first. Takes too many attempts, and I'll just like go through. Okay, that was good. One, two, fall down, short hop. Special move up there. Uh, just wait this cycle out. Jump up here, here. I'm gonna jump up here. Yep, perfect. Just not risk it. Super jump up, and then you're home. Okay, so. When you enter the screen, um, there's conveyor belts that go either way. You'll learn which way each one's going the more you do it. But for the first one, so you just hop over. Try to you try to make this first cycle here. I'm just gonna update my safety. So you can land right here and jump over. So you don't have to wait. If you're too slow, you just have to kind of wait this up. So try to get over there as fast as possible. Then walk off of this one, because sometimes you can get up here, where you can just keep going. So fall here, walk off of this one, there we go, perfect, so then I can keep going. I need to just jump off the top of this one. You can't walk off of that one or else you'll die. Just save it here. See so if you walk off, you're gonna die. So make sure you jump off of that. Just use this like token as like a visual cue, just man, just like jump to get the token, just keep that in mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so after this part, just jump to get that token. Alright, here this is a long conveyor belt that pushes you backwards. This one you want to walk past the spikes and do two jumps and try to get here as fast as possible. Because you want to try to catch that cycle. I think three jumps. Oh, I guess you could do three jumps. Okay, two or, two or three jumps. Two you can make it. If you're too late on it, you'll have to wait here. I feel like this makes this jump a lot harder when you have to wait there. Okay. That jump's really tough. It's just like a tap jump. It's tough with the three jumps. I guess you could even get there with one jump, huh? It's pretty tight though. I would recommend, so walk past the spikes, two jumps and then just tap jump at the bottom there. I use, um... You could use the, the coin again as a, as a cue. So, like, as soon as you, as soon as you collect the coin, tap. Hold right and tap A. Uh, that was not good. That was not good either. Start holding right before you tap A, too. So one, two, get over as soon as you collect it. Oop, I went too early there. I jumped too high, too. Okay. 
Yeah, this part, this part is very difficult. Um, another cue you could use is, um... Uh, right before the pink platform hits this line, then you do your tap jump. It's, it, if, if visual cues work better than, like, audio cues for you, you know, you could do that. But this is just, this I would recommend, like, doing just like this. If you, again, if you have access to save states, just do this over and over again. Just so you get a feel for this. I don't even know what the backup is, I guess you go around somehow. But... I would just keep doing this over and over again so you get a feel, but that's a good, uh, some good cues to use. Alright, next part. I'll use our super jump to get up. This section's a little weird. Just gonna kinda get used to the timing here. Uh, it's gonna be the same now because I have my save state, but sometimes you'll have to wait at the top here, wait till these platforms line up. So just take that part a little slow. Alright, now this part, this part's tough too. Cause I don't think you can jump around here. Oh, I guess you can. I don't know how tight that jump is though. It doesn't seem too bad actually. So you could do something like that. I guess even if you wanted to switch to Blinky there too, you could do something like that. You have to switch back to Deadeye afterwards. That's actually not a bad strat. My old strat, what I've been doing is I've been trying to jump up like this. But as you can see, that's pretty dangerous. Like that's what I've been doing. I believe that's what the record does too. Yeah, that's the fastest way, anyways. Something like that. So you could either try to, you know, get used to that jump and then jump up to the top there. I guess you could just switch to Blinky too, and then do it that way. And then that's the end of this section. So either way. But uh, this this section I spent the most time on. This section takes the law like the most amount of time to kind of get down consistently. Uh, it's really hard. Uh, so I do I do I do recommend um, just practicing as much as possible, um, especially that one particular jump where like the P coin was that short little hop, because that one is really tough. Uh, so just a few more screens left. There's the rotating puzzle section, and then. Um, and then the last part, so it's uh, the rest of it's not that bad. Uh, I'm gonna cut the recording now because this went a little longer than I thought, so I'm gonna stop it here, and then we'll pick back up and we'll make a part two. I think it's a good idea.